What's up, what's up everybody? We're gonna take a look at some before and after monsters from the current patch. Uh, from the patch that's, I, well, at the time I'm doing this, it's before the patch hits. We gotta see some before and after. So I think the first thing we're gonna see, we're gonna put this on, uh, we're gonna put this on skill one. We're gonna see how much damage, uh, Sigmaris does. No, no group hunt. We're doing it manually, because we wanna see, uh, actually I don't wanna do, I don't wanna kill this dragon too fast. Okay. So let's see, the Ice Volcano is still going to be based on max HP. Let's see how much the Arcane Blast uh, does against the... Let's see, the Arcane Blast is not the one that... Frozen Orb and, and Holy Orb, okay. Frozen Orb, this is the one that's going to scale based on max HP. So how much does it do right now? Right now it does 20,700, okay. 20,700, and we've got that... Uh, he's on Despair, so he can do more damage if he was on Rage. But 20,700... Uh, with this and then we're going to see how much damage he can do after the buff with the same skill You know what? I actually want to take a look at the uh, the second skill against this tower, too I think the towers are gonna have uh, I mean, I know the towers are gonna have better HP. So let's take a look at the uh, I don't remember which one has better HP But let's take a look at the uh, against the right tower at least We'll, we'll, we'll do damage to this so we at least beat the run, but let's see how much it does on the right tower. 36. 36k. Alright, the left tower. 30s. Oh, it's the same, same, same HP. Okay, same HP. Alright, we're here after the balancing patch. Let's see what kind of damage Sigmaris does against both the dragon and the towers. Actually, let's go. Let's go for this. Uh, let's go for this dragon first. We do still want to beat the run, right? We do still want to beat the run. Okay. Second skill, frozen orb against the dragon. Twenty-six k. Twenty-six k. What? All right, we're here again. We're on the dragon boss again. Let's see what kind of damage. We'll we'll do some damage to the boss. We'll do some damage to the boss. Let's see what kind of damage Sig does. On the on the on the right tower this time. The towers were both about the same. I think he did 36 the last time. 59. That's huge. That's a huge difference. Okay, 59. That is a big. That is a big difference against. Um, I mean the the, the dragon it didn't do that big of a difference, but that right tower, definitely a much bigger difference. Now I have my Sigmaris built for. Uh, built on despair. There's no reason he should be despair anymore. His first, second, and third all stun. I wanted despair to be that like I had him on despair initially because I was like, oh, that gives him a lot of crowd control opportunities. But there's he's he's got the third the CC with the third skill already, so there's absolutely no reason to have him on despair. So now I think maybe speed. I think I'm gonna switch him to speed crit damage, HP range, or or I'm gonna have him. Or depending on if I'm going to use him, uh, maybe maybe in Guild Wars still, because I really haven't been using him in Guild Wars recently. We'll see. I mean, but I really think maybe Rage. I really think Rage is the, ra the the way to go now. Not Fatal. Rage. 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 Rage is the way to go for him. for Sigmaris more than more than anything else. CC. Uh, the the spear used to be good. Either Violent or Rage. Violent is good too, but I would I would suggest one of those two. I think I'm going to do him uh, Rage now. And maybe try and we've got a double mana, but uh, looks nice. Looks nice. A plus, A plus range Sigmaris for the win. Nice buff. All right, now we're gonna test out the Light Panda. We're gonna see his passive. What's his uh, not his passive. His uh, his base, his base HP improvement. So he's got eleven thousand seven hundred before, uh, before the patch. He's got. I'm trying to get him on more crit rate though. But this is going to do damage based on his max HP. This is going to do damage based on his max HP. So let's see what kind of damage he can do. I mean, we could do we could do rage and we could do more damage than that. But we'll just see. We'll see. We'll see what kind of damage he's doing compared to uh, with with before the buff compared to after the buff. All right. 16k. Okay. Thank you. Oh my goodness. Thank you. 16k with the first skill. Trick of Light, how much is this going to do? 21k. Alright, now we are here with a late Beast Monk after the buff. Uh, he had 11.7 HP before the buff. Let's see what he's got after the buff. 
nine, nine, nine hundred. Yeah. Nine hundred HP difference. He still has less than Ritesh, Kumar, Chandra. He still has less HP than all of them! Ah, oh, rip. I mean, at least he has more. He's got 900 more. So that brings him to a total of... I mean, it does, it does bring up after you add in. That's 2,000 more HP. Uh, that's over 2,000 more HP than he had before with... Um, from the runes. Over 2,000 more HP from the runes. So that's 3,000 HP more than he had before. So now he's... Uh, what is he? He's... F I can't do math in my head! 43... 9. 43, 9. Okay, so, I mean, it's... It's better. It's better for sure. Better for sure. Let's see how much damage. I think it was like 16 and 20. How much damage that translates to. It's not gonna be that much damage. It's not gonna be that much damage. But there is at least more chance for him to survive against, uh... Like, if he's gonna get Lucianed or Bulldozered or Coppered or something like that. Alright, so this did 16k before. 17k now. And then the uh, the AO, the the Trick of Light did like 20k before. So now it does... 23. Okay. He, I mean, he is better. He is better. Shazam is actually better. Yay, make Shazam great again. Okay, that's not, that's not bad for Shazam. I'm happy. I'm happy you buffed my Shazam damage and his survivability. Um, kind of happy, and his, uh, his second skill is based on, uh, HP as well, so... There you go! That's a buff to every- that's a buff to base stats plus damage and healing potential for, like, every- for every skill. Nice. Alright, now we're gonna take a look at a few monsters' base stats. We have the Dark Monkey base stats. Great base speed, oh my god. Great base speed. Um, base HP, he's changing his type. His- his base HP 10 to 15. 801 attack, 659 defense. Let's see what it is after the buff. Alright, let's take a look at this Dark Monkey now. After the buff, after the buff. He was 10 to 15 uh, HP. Now he's 12 180. This is... Well, he's also an HP type now. This is a 2000 HP buff. Almost 2000 HP buff to... The damn Dark Monkey. This is not mine, this is this is a friend's account. This is a friend's account. He's got a hundred lower attack. He's got a little bit, he's got a few lower defense. It was 659, now it's 637. So, he is he is a support monster now. Or, or not, not a support monster, HP monster. But, attack power increases, your HP decreases. And then attack damage based on max HP, okay. So he is, now you ruin him as an HP monster instead of... Uh, like as a, as a, as a, as a, as a tank monster somewhat, instead of, um, instead of an attacker, I guess. And then he just does more damage now after being, uh, after being attacked some. Which makes more sense of a, like, as a, as a tanky monster. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. He doesn't need that attack. He does damage basically. He buffs his own attack power with the second skill after he takes some damage. And he needs more, so he needs, this one needs, specifically needs a lot more. This is a lot of, actually, speed on this monster, now that I think about it. He's like, he's like 200 and, what is, what is that, 283 speed? That's pretty fast. It's pretty fast. Apparently I have this girl ruined, I did not realize she was ruined. What are you, what, are, what runes do you even have on you? This, why does she have runes on her? Like, she's got good runes, what is going on? Look at these runes that she's got on her that I didn't even realize she was ruined. And she's got, like, really good, decent runes. Okay! Okay, fantastic. I just wanted to check out her base stats. Uh, right now she's a support monster. But her base HP is kind of low. Her base defense is kind of low. And let's see what the stats are after the new patch, which makes her base stats similar to... Uh, base stats better as uh, a support type monster. Alright, so now we're going to take a look at Asasis after the buff. Huge diff- Asasis! Wow! Okay, so here we go. She's got- her- her base attack before was 878. Now it's 571, so 300 nerf to attack, right? But she's not an attacker, she's a support monster, so... 8235 was her HP before. 11370 is her HP now. 11370, that's great. That's a great support, uh... This is what she should be, like, this is- this is great for her. She, she's a support monster. She should have high HP, right? Um, her defense before was 549, now it's 648, so they added 99 to her defense as well. 
and she's got two more speed. Interesting, she's got two two more speed added to her. Uh, this force field creates a pr shield of portion shield proportionate to 20% of your HP on all allies. Uh, decreased chance of being attacked with a critical hit. 20% of your HP shield. That's not going to be enough to be anti-Lucian. That's not going to be enough to be like a nemesis anti-Lucian monster. Unfortunately, it just wouldn't, it wouldn't shield for enough. It's got the crit resist too. If it was a little bit more HP for that shield, that could be used even on uh, arena defense. It could be used. But it's only, it's only 20% of her HP. It's not... And she's not a nat 5 either, let's be honest. She's not a nat 5. But it does also, uh, it's also a crit resist, so... Realistically speaking, though, it's still, it's still not enough to really make her an arena defense unit. But it's at least, it's at least a better buff for Asasis, especially for, um, for people that want a support monster early game. So we're in the monsters reviews because I can't find any of my guildmates that have Shannon actually six starred because they're all pay to win. Uh, so we've got, oh, they're going to make her base stats closer to a support type monster, which is actually going to help a lot of people early game that are using Shannon for Giants B10. It's going to make the uh, the run actually a little bit safer. So she got 72, 45, 604, and 560. Looks like they're probably going to decrease the attack and increase the HP and defense. We'll see how much. Okay, and now finally, Shannon. We have, she was 7245, now she's 8730, that's 1500, uh, no, uh, yeah, 1500 buff to her. It's just so funny saying, like, 1500 buff. Why couldn't you, you didn't even give the Beast Monk 1500 HP buff. God, oh my God, you gave, you gave a two-step one to more HP, okay, that's fine, that's fine. Um, same defense, less attack power, 100 less attack, uh, 101 less attack, no, 99 less attack power, sorry than before but more she, she's not an attacker doesn't matter more hp gives her more survivability which is great it's great uh for new players that's gonna that's actually made their between the sigmaris buff and the shannon buff players that are earlier game like newer to the game that are using like sigmaris and shannon in giants b10 like as their first giants b10 team uh that might actually i mean that's just makes the runs first off a little bit faster and a little bit more reliable but faster because of Sigmaris and more reliable because Shannon. And not even a bad, not even bad for uh, TOA either. So it's going to be, they buffed new players, uh, first TOA, TOA 100 teams. If they're using Shannon and Sigmaris, which are both viable monsters for, Shannon's got a AOE um, speed break. She's also, if on despair, she's got the, the, the sparey stuns. Sigmaris, the same thing. Uh, nice, they buffed, it, it, it really helps more new players more than anything. So, not bad. Not bad at all. Alright guys, anyway, hope you enjoyed this video, just going over the monsters' uh, buffs and debuffs from the last patch. Um, we'll see seeing them in action. We'll do some Jameer, we'll do some Jameer action uh, in a bit, but at least we got to see the monsters that are, that are, their, their, their damage and stuff was balanced. There's other monsters that damage was balanced too. But we got to see a couple! We got to see a couple! Alright guys, hope you enjoyed it. That's it for this one. Uh, go... I don't know, go eat some chicken nuggets. I'll see you guys as always in the next video.